Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Marcy and I'm an artist. Today I'll be showing you something I haven't really shared on here before and that's my personal journal. I painted the cover of this because I thought it might last longer than putting stickers on and this journal, it's gonna be about five years long, you'll see. But it did not last longer actually, it's chipping already. But it's still pretty, I think. I've got some fun stickers on the inside cover and the blank first page that I hope to write the dates on when the book is full. And then when we get into the actual journal part, you'll see that this looks a little bit different from my usual artwork because it's just pen and it's not as detailed. And that is on purpose. This is the first journal I've stuck with for a very long time and I think it's because I kept it a little more simple. Life just gets busy and I found that when I made journals a lot more detailed I wouldn't get around to actually documenting as much. Because drawing is also my job, so there's just not always that much time for it. So what I do in here is just sketch a very quick little pencil layout for it and then go straight in with some pens. Which means it's all a little bit more spontaneous and a little bit less detailed. I document all kinds of things in here, sometimes just the food I eat, or something cute that I saw, or a gift someone gave me, that kind of thing. And also, on a slightly sad note, I like to do little tributes to pets that pass away, which is kind of important in my life because I have a lot of rodents, and especially the mice, they will live often just a year. So it's very important to me to have them all documented in here. The first instance of that in this journal is my guinea pig called Rosa, who actually lived to be seven which is quite old. And as you can see, she was adorable. Next we have one of the most detailed and one of my personal favorite pages from the journal. This is a whole month in just five little pictures. I had a blast doing all the textures in it. And that's followed by another very detailed page. I think it's funny, I just told you I like to keep it simple in here and then immediately show you some pages where I absolutely did not keep it simple. On this next page you'll see something else I really like to do which is document other people's artwork that I've obtained. It is so much fun to sort of visit and try someone else's art style. Here we have probably the most expressive face in the whole journal and it is me really not enjoying heat wave. I have sun allergies, low blood pressure and hay fever so it's a challenge sometimes. As you can see, that's followed by several pages of, I think, just new stuff that I got. Very pretty though, look at all the ghosts. And an entire page of Ooblets because that's one of my favorite games. Love that I dedicated half a page to a cleaning spray. Um, I wish you guys could smell it though, it really, really is good. Then we have some Halloween finds. And a very special one about our wedding day. And that's actually a drawing of a drawing. I did a painting to commemorate the whole thing, but I want it in here as well. And here I got to do another whole page of other people's art styles, which was so much fun. This is a drawing my friend Rose gave us as a wedding gift, and the card she gave us, and an illustration from a book that she brought us from America. So cute. Probably the best page in here. And then here's me testing the limits of how small I can draw with my thinnest pens because I wanted to document my art space. This December dailies page is something I did because I was going to start my Hobonichi 5 year in January. So the idea was to get me used to doing a little daily entry. And it did, because I haven't skipped a page in there since. And by the way, there is a free set of these daily templates on my Patreon. You don't need to be a member to get those. So if you're interested, you can go get them there. I also do a yearly overview page every year. It's usually a page of firsts and pets gained, pets lost, as well as just some tracking how much artwork I've done, books I've read, things like that. These are always favorite pages for me because I tend to spend the whole day looking back on the past year and everything I liked about it. Here's one that's almost all reviews and then a more realistic kind of drawing from when I was sick, I think. And then my birthday, which is another thing I always like to document. Here's a page on what I distinctly remember as a full month of being ill and injured. As well as another one of those illustrations with these delightfully expressive faces. I love this one. 
The next spread has some of the cutest illustrations of them all, because that month I got a set of sticky stickers and a book with this adorable bat on it, and I like that spring donut as well. Here's another very typical spread for me, which is plants, spooky stuff, and animals. Followed by another favorite spread of mine, because it just has so many cute things on it. The raccoon is a birthday card that I drew for my husband Paul. And then you can see him celebrating his birthday on the right, wearing his adorable new shirt. And if you knew Paul like I do, then this would make you laugh a little bit, because he would not cheer like that. But nevertheless, I think this expresses his personality quite well. And look, here's me recording my very first voiceover for YouTube last summer. I'm glad I got that in here. And here I am documenting my Halloween collection that I'm making in July, because that's when it starts if you make products. I get to keep the Halloween spirit up most of the year because of that. And I love this poseable skeleton that I bought from Dennis Hansbury. One of my prized possessions. Here we've got some more books and artwork. You may have noticed by now, that's a lot of my life in general. And then next is another absolute favorite page of mine. I had such a good time doing this, because it's all Halloween stuff again. I did a trade with Little Spooky Studio. I got a present from Noctis Artistry. And there's some other cute stuff that I bought myself. I'll list all these artists in the description, by the way. Now we're getting into actual Halloween territory. For the rest of the world, anyway. Look at all those pumpkins. And there's also this drawing that got 17,000 likes for some reason. Actually, it's on 21,000 now. Which, for reference, that's a hundred times more than I typically get. So I thought that would be worth remembering. <laughs> Here I decided to stamp my new stamps in here, which I immediately regretted. There was significant ghosting that I had to fix on the back of this page. Looks pretty though. Here's the start of that double page of 2023 memories. It was an eventful year. I also just really like this little landscape drawing that I did in here with all my different pens and markers. Realism is an interesting challenge to do with fine liners. And there's my first sticker sheet that I produced myself. And that brings me so much joy. Five-year-old me would not believe it. And that brings us into this year, where I had a fairly uneventful January with just one page and a very full February, including my birthday again. Here I documented all the presents that I got, and I also needed new glasses, which was a difficult transition, but I like them now that I'm used to them. And that is where I'm at so far. The book isn't quite half full yet, which by the way, it's a Canson Mixed Media XL book, and I think I can expect it to last four and a half to five years. And while these drawings are a little messier than my usual stuff, they're very meaningful to me, and I hope I've inspired you a little bit by showing you this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!